Do you guys remember Pete the Cat? We're going to read another Pete the Cat story called Pete the Cat, Pete's Big Lunch. This was created by James Dean. Lunch? Here comes Pete. There's a big watch on his um, arm, doesn't he? It is lunchtime. Pete is ready to eat. What should Pete eat? A sandwich would be nice. Mm. Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. Pete opens the fridge. He takes out a loaf of bread. He finds a yummy fish. He adds tomato and mayo. Those are good ingredients, but he just stacked them on top of each other. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is too small. Something is missing. That doesn't look like a sandwich to me. Pete knows what he, it needs. His sandwich needs an apple. Pete loves apples. And he just balanced it right on top of that tomato. His sandwich needs crackers. Crackers are crumbly. Pete loves crunchy crackers. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It is still too small? What? I think it's a little silly. Pete is very hungry. Pete adds a pickle. Pete adds cheese. Pete adds an egg. Pete adds two hot dogs, a banana, and a can of beans. Wow. I don't know if you can call that a sandwich anymore. Something is missing. <gasps> Pete adds ice cream. He takes three huge scoops. One, two, three. Whoa. That's a big tower of food. Pete's sandwich is too big for Pete to eat. I think so. Pete wonders what to do. Pete thinks and thinks. I've got it, Pete says. Pete calls all his friends. He asks them to come over. Everyone goes to Pete's house. They are all very hungry. Pete shows them his big lunch. Are you hungry? Asks Pete. Pete's sandwich is big enough for everyone. Dig in, says Pete. Look at all these friends ready to eat. They're all ready to share his big lunch. Pete's sandwich is good. Pete's sandwich is very good. Look at everybody got a little bit of something. Pete's sandwich is all gone. Pete's friends are full. They liked Pete's big lunch. Thanks for lunch, Pete's friends say. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Pete says. Sharing is cool. Bye.